Now is this before or right after what happened? Hello, my friend. What the hell? Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. Super terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember... What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay. All right. There we go. Complete the prologue. Awesome. Hell yeah. Chapter one. Hackett's quarry forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Get over it. You never know. Mm. Oh well. Never know. Mm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell, you know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, I'm playing this dude, and this is next morning. Oh. Is this? Jake, bags, focus. Okay. Where be the bags? The other dude over there. Damn it, Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um... You know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's 
Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. What's with this thing? It's just Dylan, broken. please. It's broken. Sorry, Josh. Cool. Thanks, guys. Well, I mean, he could insist, I guess. But... Windows open? I could probably come in here. Oh, at skill. Night. Crazy. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. <laughs> That's funny. Parrot found temperance. Oh, okay. kind of cool. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Jesus, watch him get stuck there. Are you Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Alright, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <sighs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, <sighs> so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> they gonna do it? Steal the rotor arm? Or break the fuel line? Oh, Jesus. Um... Uh, I guess steal it. I feel like if we break the fuel line, explosion, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like the rotor arm is safer. Yeah, chosen. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. There we go. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d Go long. Oh, dick. Oh. oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Bruh. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. God damn. <laughs> What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. 
I'll try to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh. Another peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50, you know what? 50. Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where's everybody else? Why why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> what about that other dude? The other guy just sitting down. We didn't get to talk to him. Look, now we're playing as Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags leave back mm, i guess we could break in why would we leave our bags okay let's do it we better not get in trouble i won't tell if you won't tell mr hackett's gonna find out so what he'll just think it was a bear or something have you ever seen a bear in these woods no but that doesn't mean they're not out there Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three. Mm. All about the power wow. of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're going to think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Uh, he's, he's gonna leave her. I mean, it's a tiny ass room. What could happen? Well, actually, a lot could happen. I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. This place be in the news. Oh, that was it. There's something else here. Okay. Well done. We're out of here. Oh, this looks really nice. Check out this cabin over here. Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <laughs> Yo, that's a weird crow just staring down at me.
mean, this is a nice place, except I'm gonna get crazy soon. Everybody at? I bet I could explore maybe rooms. Let's see, where's that girl at? She's right here. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, the bridge. Ready to roll? Hmm, uncertain. Oh, yes, we can explore more. Hmm, I guess we'll go. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. So, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Oh, God. I get to choose... Scenic route or back to the lodge. Well, you know what? Let's take the scenic route. Why not? Yes, sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know <laughs> that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be, like, really happy you're back. My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's 
probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, give up. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, going to leave without you. Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Hello, guys. We made it. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's oh, go. I don't know. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing over there? Ryan. Having what? a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around you know textbook ghost stuff some people say that if she catches you alone she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something i don't know it's never really been clear anyways haga haggett's quarry you made that up it's right here in the podcast man <laughs> cool story bro hmm better than yours or if you Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? 
Yeah, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. <gasps> Get those butts in Mr. Gear. H. Oh my god. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, he's Mr. H. Yo, I gotta keep him alive. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. Great. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. No fair. <laughs> what? Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? Oh, his name is Chris, too? <laughs> no, Hell yeah. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Eavesdrop, listen to podcast. Um, well, you know, we could eavesdrop. What? The stupid kids. Don't be so much of them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard, I, I mean, I, w I didn't hear what you were. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, this is whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. He's not really, uh, not paying attention to me, so. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. <gasps> Still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh, Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb-sucking, bedwetting, Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the... Oh, the Hag of Hackett's... Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. 
Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? Kumbaya. What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Inquisitive understanding. Hmm. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Hmm, but the other guy messed up, messed them up, right? He messed with the car. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Mm-hmm, <laughs> noob. Got him. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, <laughs> both of you. Dude, I, I like this guy. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, dude. Jacob must live. Maybe the police guy, too. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? That's definitely not going to happen. Oh.
Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five, touch my hand, Ryan. I'm sorry. He made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. No, no, no dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for some things. All right, let's do this. This is gonna go badly really quick.
I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. I only found one thing, though. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards.